So a lot of you have probably noticed that I have switched from promoting the USCCA to now promoting firearms legal protection and the purpose for today's video is just to take a minute to explain why that's occurred. Now if any of you belong to the USCCA, don't freak out about this video. This video is just going to take just a minute to explain why I made the decision to switch from the USCCA to the firearms legal protection. So in late 2020, the USCCA completely froze their affiliate program. And as, as you know, I was an affiliate for the USCCA. I really believed in them and I really believed that that was something that all self-defenders should have. So again, in late 2020, they completely froze their affiliate program. And then a couple months ago, they relaunched it again for us to be able to start uh, the affiliate thing again. But anyways, when they relaunched it, I noticed they had made some major, major changes to their affiliate program. And probably one of the biggest changes that I did not like was they gave us pre-written scripts that we pretty much had to read word for word if we were going to promote the USCCA on our channels, on, on our videos, or what have you. So, if it got to a point in the video that I was going to uh, pr you know, promote or suggest that a self-defender should have the USCCA, I had to read one of their pre-written scripts word for word. Now, what really bothered me about that is, number one, I don't like reading somebody else's script word for word. I want to naturally tell you what I think, what I believe to be important for somebody. Number two, when I saw these pre-written scripts, their pre-written scripts were all about how they were promoting training for self-defenders, for people that carry guns for self-defense, and they were also uh, touting about how they were a liability insurance. It, it, if, I, if I believe I got that right, about how their insurance for self-defenders. Now, what really troubled me was none of those pre-written scripts said anything about that if you defended yourself, how they would work to bond you out of jail should you get arrested after shooting a bad guy in self-defense. And they didn't say anything about how they would provide you a free attorney to fight for you in court should your self-defense shooting end up in court. And those are two huge things for me. In my 20 years experience as a police officer, as a police veteran now, and then also having been involved in a critical uh, self-defense incident myself, I know what's hugely important that if you get involved in a self-defense shooting that A, at that scene, you're able to contact somebody and they can say, hey, this is what you exactly what you need to do. You've been involved in a self-defense shooting, the other police officers or the police are there, here's exactly what you need to say and exactly what you need to do. So that's utmost importance, number one. Number two, then if you do get charged, that they work to bond you out because when you're in jail, you don't get as much time with your attorney in planning out your legal defense and stuff like that. I mean, you do get your time, but you just don't get as, as much time. And then number three, if your case does go to trial, man, that's gonna be thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of attorney fees that you will pay out of pocket unless you belong to one of these legal self-defense programs like the firearms legal protection where they will provide you a free attorney that's an expert in self-defense. You don't want just a regular attorney fighting on your behalf if you shoot a bad guy in self-defense and now you're in court. You want an expert self-defense uh, self attorney fighting on your behalf. You want an expert self-defense attorney that's going to be able to make that jury understand that they, they're gonna make that jury say, Wow, if I would have been in that guy's shoes, I would have done the same thing. So anyways, getting back to the USCCA. Now, when I looked up the USCCA's website, it appears that they still did offer that, that they would, I think, if I remember right, that they would help bond you out, and then they would also provide that free attorney. But what really concerned me was that all of these pre-written scripts that they gave me were not going to allow me to say to you, hey, look, if you're a self-defender, this is why you need a, to belong to a legal 
self-defense program because if you get involved in a shooting, you want to be bonded out pretty quickly, and B, if your case goes to court, then you will have a expert self-defense attorney uh, fighting on your behalf. So the other thing that kind of concerned me though was that with this revamping that they did, it, it kind of made me concerned if they were going to eventually step away from offering the free attorneys and bonding you out and, and maybe they were going to go purely more for training and insurance. That I'm not 100% certain of. So if you currently belong to the USCCA and you're watching this video, you know, don't freak out. I don't think this is going to happen tomorrow. It just makes me concerned that this might be coming down the road. And again, when I, you know, promote something to you, it's because I believe in it. It's something that either I use or I would use myself. I'm not going to promote something just to make a dollar off of it. Now, I do have to say this about the USCCA is everybody that I dealt with at that company, when I was an affiliate with them, every, every person that I, that I dealt with there, they were just awesome people. So I was very disappointed when they froze the affiliate program and then they revamped it and then all these new rules with so i looked around and i looked around after that because again it's my 20 years experience in law enforcement and in just the past personal experiences that i've had myself is if you carry a gun for self-defense you absolutely have to have legal protection when you get involved in a self-defense shooting that is the first fight once you that shooting happens now you are in a legal battle that can run thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and folks if you get involved in a self-defense shooting your shooting will be scrutinized by a prosecutor that's going to be reviewing every one of your actions to see if you need to be charged yet or not to see if you need to go to prison for the rest of your life. If you get involved in a self-defense shooting, you will be completely unprepared legally to defend yourself, legally. That is why I highly, so highly, really promote that you belong to a legal defense program because they will provide you with a free attorney that's an expert in self-defense law an expert on why your actions were actually reasonable. Now the problem though is, is those expert attorneys, those expert self-defense attorneys that will keep your butt out of prison for the rest of your life, they cost thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Folks, if you get involved in a self-defense shooting and then you just hire some lawyer that's gonna cost $500 retainer and a couple thousand dollars for the actual court trial, they are almost certainly not going to be an expert in self-defense laws and an expert on your mental and body reactions that happen when you defend yourself in a, in a life or death situation. That is setting yourself up, setting yourself up for failure. That is setting yourself up to go to prison for the rest of your life. Now, just, just to clarify, I could be completely wrong. The USCCA may still be 100% charging forward with bonding you out of jail should you get involved in a self-defense shooting and providing you with a free expert self-defense attorney for court. And then they're also adding the training and the insurance and stuff on top of that. That might be what they're doing, but if that is what they're doing, they're not really making that clear. So again, what I think is most important for self-defenders, people that carry guns for self-defense or any weapon for self-defense, is that if you get involved in a self-defense situation that you are able to immediately call and speak to an actual attorney that will give you legal advice at that scene right after it happened and firearms legal protection provides that the other thing i think is really hugely important for self-defenders that is you if, the, if you do get involved in a self-defense shooting and you do get arrested that the uh, firearms legal protection will have a bail bondsman waiting to get you out to jail and then if you do go to trial that the firearms legal protection will provide you with an expert self-defense attorney something that would normally cost thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars but they will provide that to you for free to fight on your behalf to help keep you out of prison the Expert attorney with the firearms legal protection will help to give a defeat to that prosecutor that's trying to put you away 
for life into prison. And the other things that I really like about firearms legal protection is that they cover all legal weapons that's in your state. So if you pepper spray uh, an attacker, a bad guy, they will, and that bad guy sues you for whatever reason, they will still cover you. If you stab, if you have to stab instead of shooting, you have to stab a bad guy, they again, they will cover you. Heck, they will even um, pay, if you say, let's say you, uh, you shoot a burglar inside your house, they will even pay a hazmat company to come out and clean your house, I mean, to clean that, that, that burglar's brain, brain splatter off your wall, replace your, the, your carpets because of all the blood or what have you. Plus, they also fight against a red flag law. So if you live in an area where they really abuse those red, red flag laws and your guns get taken from you, they will fight for you in court to get your guns, your guns uh, back. And of course, as an affiliate with the Firearms Legal Protection, I will put an affiliate link down below so you can check them out if you want to. And folks, I really want to stress that when I was promoting the USCCA, that I really honestly believed in them. I do believe that they were offering a good value for self-defenders. And I think they are still offering a good value for self-defenders. I'm just afraid that the company might be moving, end up moving away from that. And then just kind of for my research, firearms legal protection really offers you the same legal protection that police officers get after they get involved in a self-defense police action shooting. And folks, just for transparency, I myself do not belong to the firearms legal protection. And that is because I already have legal self-defense protection through my police union's legal defense fund. But again, what I just said, like I said a second ago, what I have found is that firearms legal protection provides the same excellent legal protection that I get through my police union's uh, legal protection fund. So folks, why don't you do me a favor and comment down below if you already belong to the firearms legal protection and what your experience has been with them. And then if you belong to the USCCA, have you heard anything about how they've kind of revamped the company? So comment down below with your thoughts on that. That way everybody kind of learns what's going on. And folks, if you ever get involved in a self-defense shooting, there's going to be a whole lot of people that's going to tell you that what you did was wrong, what your actions were incorrect because of blah, 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 or whatever. And the reason why is because that most people have never been involved in a self-defense shooting or a true life or death situation. So they're not going to understand the realities behind life or death, deadly use of force situations. So to learn what 99% of the general public out there does not know about self-defense, about deadly use of force situations, the click on the video should be appearing on the screen just about now to learn more about that. Anyways, folks, that is enough internet for today. It is time to go train. And folks, if you made it this far, hey, thank you very much for watching. And I pray that you have a good night.